Welcome to the Stash Club Wrestling Podcast. My name is John. My name is Dante. And this is a very special episode, a monumental, monumental. episode, an episode that will only happen once. This is the 100,000 subscribers Woo! special. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Let's thank you, go. thank you. Wow, we they didn't think we'd make it to 100 racks, brother. Nope. Not a single um, person, not even us. Huge. I mean, we are, we're closer to 101,000 at this point. Come they on. keep on tallying. Come on. Um, we hit that, when we hit that Sunday night, Sunday or Saturday, Saturday night. night, Saturday, Saturday night. night, yes. Um, huge, f***ing crazy. I think, I mean, I think I already said my, I crack open a little OJ for yes, the 100,000 well, special. OJ Simpson. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I feel like we kind of already gave our pieces on, like, Twitter and social media or whatever, but, I mean, yeah. I think the... You're having some trouble. There it is. Um, right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, I mean, I feel like, first of all, huge milestone, but at this point, it's like, keep on keeping on. Keep on like, keeping on. We didn't we didn't really plan anything for No, no. <laughs> we we have a couple of... We didn't get any champagne or anything Yeah, like that. we have I a mean, couple have of... orange shoes. If we, we do did have, have champagne, shoes. we'd have mimosas. True. Oh, that'd be such a good idea. That would have been a great idea. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> we, What's the closest liquor um, store? We, um... We we, we we have a couple things in the works, a couple plans Definitely. for future videos and stuff. So there's some, some fun stuff is going to come out. Exciting stuff. That'll be triggered kind of by the hundred thousand but mm -hmm. like um yeah i mean this is as close as we got to, to planning yeah, yeah. hundred thousand subscribers special and today we're gonna talk about smackdown and mm -hmm. raw and aw as always, and, as uh -huh. always. yeah um, but i mean like i think if you follow us on social media instagram twitter at downtown deck at raspy taylor mm. we put we kind of put out our our thoughts our feelings and everything towards it and obviously how grateful we are for everything and the under a year under a year under a year under that's a year. that's like yeah unheard of yeah that's crazy my um my stepdad always talks to me about i mean he he always is like he was texting me like nine uh nine nine, nine thousand like, <laughs> like all day saturday he was like refreshing i was watching we it together all day he was checking yeah and stuff and then i got home that night and i checked before i went to bed it was a hundred thousand so i mm. went out and i said oh we hit a hundred thousand and he was like damn he goes the one time i wasn't checking like i missed it um, i had i had this up oh shit Hold it on. was like the it was like the live count or something yeah like yeah that. i remember we had that for um where is it you can get it on we used that for something else in the past i can't find it now but i had it yeah. anyways um yeah i mean i'm just kind of speaking for both of us i mean oh there it is yeah yeah that's, that's oh it's giving us little cool fireworks oh, let's go um just how super grateful we are i mean just the fact yeah, that we get unreal. to do this for a living is uh mm -hmm. is crazy uh not a lot of people can say that they uh you know can do what they do uh and love what they do with uh you know their friends and all that stuff um and i don't know if it's i've seen confusion in the comments not that it matters not that we even need to state this but like for the sake of to give credit like exactly what you're saying to mm -hmm. give credit to the people uh this is our full-time job yeah, both of us for, for sure um, i mean um granted you know clutch points and blah, blah blah but for the most part this is our full-time job so like we you know uh, thank you this, yeah you I are mean, you are the reason that you are allowing us to do this all the videos you watch every single week every episode of the podcast all the comments all the likes you are the reason that we're able to do this and we're so grateful and thankful and um yeah but just wanted to put the put that out because i feel like that's just like a like a, oh this is how crazy it is right that, like, yeah you know like I mean? this isn't just like a part-time thing that we right. do just for fun on the side like this is like genuinely our our living and what we put a lot of our time hours into and you know whether you're a new fan you subscribed recently or you've been following us from you know previous channels or whatever like your support is the reason why mm -hmm. we're able to do this every week like you said um put out the content that we do and uh, you know it's again like we love it it's not yeah. like we're just doing this for a paycheck like we do this because we genuinely love it we love entertaining you guys putting you know smiles on your faces when you guys tell us you look forward to our videos like it really does mean the world and i don't think it's i don't think i'll ever like kind of get used to or like it'll always be oh, weird yeah. to me that people look to us like that especially like, like being out and then getting like a hey stash right or, hey, like John, it, or, like uh, obviously it happens every so often but it's not something that you get used to um but it's very cool um me and john have been wrestling fans since a very young age you know aspiring to do you know whether it's videography content creation or mm -hmm. just covering wrestling in general and just the fact that we are uh full-blown adults now uh <laughs> doing this uh it's pretty cool coming full circle and stuff being a 10 yeah, year old crazy kid. like i said i was like a kid that was writing down like 
storylines and different results and collecting figures and all mm. that stuff you know and then 15 years later yeah uh, i mean all the i think well we used to have more figures like all the figures we used things. to would have were like from our childhood right. like the belt from your childhood exactly. and da, da, da. So, um yeah i mean it's kind of same same thing with me i was always a wrestling fan since I, my dad showed me when i was like fucking i don't know 9 10 11 mm. um and i was always I into I was, like i think i was like seven or like eight maybe or something yeah. like that but like the uh the youtube thing specifically too the first so youtube started in like 2005 i think mm -hmm. first youtube i posted was in 2006 yeah swear to god uh i was i was i mean what math f fucking no oh, it's what 10 Seven, right. it's 12 yeah. it's probably 11 or 12 um so i've been like uh, not consistently obviously but like but like the you know 2006 2013 20, 2013 2023 uh yeah i've always 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 wanted to do youtube stuff and always making skits with my friends or making my friends do something i had this was like funny david dobrik shit less about less <laughs> it's less that but um when i was like when i was like really young i had this friend named kyle who Shout we were kyle. um we were we we both loved wrestling he's the guy i think i showed you the the, the blurry ray mysterio picture yeah i have yep. mm -hmm. he's the he's um one of the guys in the picture and uh so we used to do like youtube stuff together and we used to like make videos and i remember specifically there was this one time where we were talking and we we're like we need to make like a series mm -hmm. and then we we're like or i came up with the idea of like what if like and we're like thir 12 13 at this mm -hmm. point and i was like what if we do like a like a weekly youtube like wrestling recap show you know mm -hmm. like what if what if we do you know we we review raw and smackdown we never ended up doing it obviously obviously we were 12 didn't come to fruition but crazy to have that idea at 12 years old yeah and then still later. Whoop, youtube wrestling at all you know what i mean it is crazy i, I don't i can't imagine whether it's you know youtube video whatever wrestling couldn't imagine doing anything else you know at this i don't point, know how to at to this be honest point no i have no <laughs> if I don't this didn't do work else. out i don't know what i'd be doing yeah. to be honest with you all i know all i know is video and camera so and wrestling <laughs> and wrestling and uh that's why we are so supportive of you guys like we said uh without your support we wouldn't be able to do what we are doing um so thank you thank you for 100k um we're excited obviously that's not uh that's not the end goal we're we're gonna be shooting for 125 000. 000, that's and that's it and that's and it that's it <laughs> then we're, the then we're shutting down the studio and we're gonna start fresh yes and then we're, we're gonna, gonna start, start over zero. again just kidding uh, just, no, just kidding no, just kidding no, kidding, no. kidding, stay kidding here, stay here subscribe like subscribe <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much and there is i guess there is something we can do for 100k because we have talked about this in the past and i did remember this i we said at 100k i'd reveal my copy oh you gotta put your um gym playlist out there i also too, have to my jet hey but you got a new order of coffee today it's not your standard no, no, one no, this is my standard one i just the flavoring oh, but i usually oh, switch oh. back and forth okay so let's get this out of the way and then we'll get into huge the, we'll get into the wrestling okay i know a lot i know every single person that subscribes to us has been wondering so i mean you can consider this coffee you don't have to at this point it's kind of just like a lot of cream and sugar and stuff like milkshake, that with sure. a little milkshake so what i usually get is a cold brew large large or medium but today is a large i get caramel caramel swirls in this one that are pumpkin no way but today i got caramel wow four cream four splenda wow an espresso shot you guys better be thankful and yeah that's, that's it. it that's it i don't that's drink coffee so i don't really i can't really get like a i don't really know i only have it honestly like once or twice a week like this is my weekly like yeah because like i'm driving here like sure. it's kind of early and stuff like that so i get it but like huh. i used to drink coffee at least once a day for yeah. a while but mm. now i'm only with like, your pack of cigarettes with my marlboros mm. yes at least one pack of cigarettes a day to go that's along so with sick. the coffee um but yeah and that's how i got mm. here so yeah if you guys want to try it that was, go that was give it a shot that was electric that thank, was, thank you that, wow. i know we i know people have been anticipating it and now you have it so the um, cat is out of the bag one last thing before we get in there uh do you notice anything notice anything different about me notice anything different about me i know you got a tattoo I got a leg yes, tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's currently uh -huh, covered. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into the shows, we're going to start with two pieces of new, uh, news. You informed me that the PW Woman's was announced but before that yes it was <clears throat> i'm gonna actually yeah, remember last time i read it to you i haven't seen oh you want me to read so it i'm gonna have to you read it to me but before we get into that yep 
um, at the end of the fight, Logan Paul, I'm talking about. I'll frame that up, Barracks. That's going to be a clip. <laughs> Logan Paul, at the end of his fight, calls out the United States champion, Ray Mysterio. Yes, he did. Logan versus Ray. Yeah. Probably well, crown jewel, I'd imagine. Yeah, love it. Um, he's on the poster, so. He is on the poster. You know who's not on the poster? Ray. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn it. I hope he doesn't win. I know, like, I see the vision. I get it. But, but damn it, but I hope he wins. You want oh, Logan yeah, to beat Ray? I do want you fucking I mark. Do want Logan You're a to, mark. I love it. I oh. I want to be champion so bad. I definitely is that just zoom? Is that is 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 that like fan or that's zoomed out business? No, um, because zoomed both. out zoomed out business. I'm like, okay, I get, both. I get you, but like, but like, I'm not. If you're you're rooting against Ray Mysterio for Logan Paul, yeah, you douchebag. Time, Are you kidding time. me? I because you yeah, Logan it's Paul fan. I look at it so. First of all, it's great, it's great business because I definitely think because obviously he's under WWE contract, he's doing the whole boxing yeah. match. So I would like you have to think like there's definitely some clause in this contract that still allows him to do all this side shit. Yeah, and I'm sure they were like, okay, if you do this, you still have to like do something for us, like promo us, and that I think him calling out Ray like oh for sure, tying, that, like yeah, tying it all in. Um, how I look at it is Logan hasn't wrestled or been on tv since SummerSlam, i think against ricochet i do think that was the last time he was yeah on television um i think them allowing him to do the boxing thing i think he'll i imagine that he'd be around more now like not like every single week or anything like that but definitely just like well i mean you know, if what you're saying is true and he wins the title that's what i'm saying so if he wins see, the title you know? i think he's definitely going to be around for like every pay-per-view so like um survivor series whatever uh whatever they do in december tlc or whatever the fuck it is mm -hmm. royal rumble elimination like all those big ones at the very least um because i think the vision and the vision has never been more clear is logan paul and la Knight. i think that's kind of like yeah. because you put the championship on someone that people fucking hate right you put it on, everyone <laughs> hates him guess who everyone loves la Knight. so ray it's mysterio just, ray mysterio but more more People more love LA Knight at this very moment. So, like, let's say... Oh, wrestle. that's not true. That's not true. I'm just saying... You, that's not when true. They both, well, maybe, like, universally loved, like, respected, but, like, if you walk, like, SmackDown hits, and one of their music hits, LA Knight's getting the bigger reaction. I would say maybe, maybe, maybe hotter. Sure. Hotter, whatever, we, whatever you want to do it, yeah. but when... when no matter who it is, LA Knight's getting a bigger reaction than anyone on any show nowadays. Except for maybe like Roman yeah, Reigns, but yeah, like yeah. pop wise. Anyways, Fair. so like WrestleMania comes around, everyone's sick of Logan. He's been holding the title hostage for three, four months. Ali Knight comes in, takes it off of him. I guess that's his first championship because he's not gonna win the main. He's watch not this, gonna watch win this, the watch world this, title. Watch this. <sighs> hey, listen, <sighs> LA Knight. LA Knight needs a championship. That would be and so. That's how LA, you, and that's no, how you do I love it. that. I'm not yawning at that. I want to make it clear because people think I don't like LA Knight. Um, would love LA Knight to get United States Championship. I just think that program of Logan Paul and like LA Knight with like LA Knight would have to Logan Paul wouldn't be on TV like every week mm -hmm. or whatever. So if you're if what you're saying is like three to four months with Logan holding it hostage, I mean we've done that with Roman, we've done that with the Bloodline. Yeah, that's two titles on SmackDown being held hostage. That's the United States well, Championship and the the Universal I Championship. I say I say held hostage, and I do think Logan would be on TV more often. I definitely do think he'd not like every single. I think Friday, he would too. But I do think it would be like maybe like an every other week, every like he would two he'd, three. He'd weeks. be on more than Roman, which is like sure. crazy yeah, to say, exactly. he but would. it's true. Um. And, I, and what I mean also hostage is like a guy that people don't like holding the title. Not like him like holding it, like not showing up. Oh, well, I think it'd be both. It could be both. You know? But like I think more so of the fact that people don't like him. So it's like they're just waiting for a face to come around and beat him for it. And then that's... When do you... When would you see it be a WrestleMania thing, you think? Him and LA Knight? Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. Tomer. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's a few... It's a little ways four away. Four or five months. I mean, like, mm. I think, but I also think it's also your... another opportunity because if he does, it's another opportunity for Logan to like do it more often and kind of like get more, I, I want to say respect from the fans. Well, or that's a, like to your, that, to your but... credit is I can't, you know, and this, this is the zoomed out version of me is like, it, I, I can't see 
Logan losing another one, another big match like this. Sure. He's been he's been hyped up so much and how popular he is, and he is good. Um, uh, yeah, I can't but, imagine them throwing him into this program and having him lose too. Right, because you know he lost the lost the title opportunity to Roman a year ago at the the, the, the last Crown Jewel, which like that in of itself he lost last the last right. Crown mm-hmm. Jewel, um, and then uh, lost to Seth at at, at Mania um didn't win money in the bank and then he beat ricochet in a fun match but it wasn't like four anything no, exactly mm-hmm. so just judging by this the the his his track record unfortunately the next one looks like it's gonna equal a championship win and it's just like they have to start doing something with him like you know they signed him on to like be an active wrestler and stuff like that and I yeah he's like a like, multi-year contract yeah exactly yeah. so it's not like he's like, is he a guy that's going to be on the big, like, the big four shows, like, the Saudi Arabia shows? Yeah, but, like, he, I mean, he said in interviews, and from mm-hmm. what it makes it seem like, he wants to be, like, a, you know, maybe not the fullest of time, but, like, you know, this, he wants this to be his career and stuff like yeah. that. And he's obviously talented enough for this to be a full-time gig for him. Um, I just think he kind of needs that, not push, but, like, he needs that reason to be to be around more and the u.s title might be might be that reason yeah so. i mean if anything you know again he said it at his whatever stupid fight <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, it was that stupid, was it was a stupid um, fight but uh oh but you know what's it's a crazy pivot the tag team boxing you see that Mm-mm. no no you, don't, you didn't see that Mm-mm. oh let me find was it the same night the it's same the event? same the same oh. event they did tag team boxing it i didn't watch it i didn't pay so, attention to any of that i just saw it on twitter um let me find it let me find it it's literally like what you think it's just you know two guys start in mm-hmm. and they're fucking boxing and then if one guy's like oh i'm tired he's being tagging his partner and the guy can just come in and you know it's looks fucking sick that is crazy what the fuck i would watch boxing all the time all right look at here it is here's like a clip see the guys in the corner yeah yeah and then let me see if they'll like tag in probably not but like you get the idea oh someone tag in sorry i'm clicking around here yep like tagged him in now he can now he can just go and then (laughs) isn't that (laughs) i feel like if i saw some like uh, the guy i'm going up against in the ring like tag his partner and i used to just tag mine in well that that, seems like the strategy right you're tired you go up against fresh legs now oh (laughs) yeah i don't that's crazy (laughs) i thought that was sick i've never heard of that before me neither until i saw that um but yeah as so where i'm coming from i'm talking way more in i guess a kayfabe you could say i'm not rooting against Rey mysterio if we were to do our predictions today i'm picking ray over logan mm. you know even if it's for that for that predictions championship i'm not going against my fucking guy especially to logan paul um but in reality <clears throat> he's the the most popular he's more like and this isn't a hot take he's more po- he's the most popular person in the company or, you know, he's, he's the most famous and most popular Logan. person in the company, Logan yeah, Paul, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. in terms of just, like, stardom or whatever, sure. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so, they haven't, they've utilized him for big match moments, kind of reiterating, reiterating what you were saying, but maybe you, you, you got him again, it seems like he's going to start being, showing up a little more, might as well use him. Yeah, because then, again, know. the whole boxing thing, like, they... Like he was gone because he was training and right, doing all that right. stuff. I can I have to imagine. Now it seems WWE like it's WWE's like, turn. Okay, like we let you yeah. do this for a few months. Now you're you're coming to show up to, for us for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but hey, we'll we'll see. I mean, they haven't announced anything. He'll be on SmackDown tomorrow and Raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, he's like specifically he's like calling out Ray tomorrow. He said. is. Yeah, 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 but I don't know. Like the match probably will be at Saudi Arabia Crown Jewel, but maybe it'll I would be imagine. a Survivor Series. I, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see though. Yeah, Rey Mysterio know. better hold on tight then to that he, championship. If he wins at Crown Jewel, I wonder what they do for Survivor Series. Or they don't just defend I don't it know. Series. I don't know if they'll do those like brand versus brand matches. The like no, the, probably, probably not. Probably not because no. there's not enough. But I would want to see him defend it at these pay per views because I would be yeah, annoyed. No, I, I would be annoyed if we have another Roman situation where it's like, oh, Logan well, has they it. Pr- never that's the other reason why I don't think that's going to happen because they're both <clears> on the same show. Like both the belts are technically on SmackDown, so it's like if they're if they want to do that, they're they're just shooting themselves in the foot at that point. They're just doing that to themselves. (laughs) Yes, yes, they're doing. You got it. (laughs) You nailed it. Anyway, uh, anyways, all right. Read me this PWI. So I'll give you the top ten list. Go um go ten to one. Okay, hold on, 
hold on. Nope, I'm on the magazine. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Number 10. Okay. Jordan Grace. She's an impact wrestling. Okay. Yeah, you did you did preface this before the yes. show saying like a lot are outside of AEW and WWE. And I I wanna clear I, before I get into this, if I mispronounce names <laughs> or something like that, for the love of God, do not kill me over it. Do not <clears throat> roast me. Yes, I I really only watch WWE and AEW products. So I'm if I'm not too familiar with these people and I pronounce them wrong, crucify me. <laughs> Number nine, Camille. Camille, K A M I L L E. Okay. okay. Wish I could tell you where hmm. what company she she uh, fights in. Uh, eight Willow Nightingale. Oh wow, nice. Yep, pretty high. Uh, number seven, Diana per Perezo Perazzo. She's an also an impact. Yeah, she, she was sounds in WWE. familiar. I I yep. I know who she is. I don't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> Six Athena. Oh nice. That's a nice one. Cool. This is the one I was worried about. Number five, Tam Nakano. Okay. N A K A N O. Maybe another New Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know what company they're in. Um, yep. Looking like um, maybe like stardom. stardom. Yep. <clears throat> Number four, Jamie Hader. Nice. That's cool. a good one. Cool. Three, Bianca Belair. Nice. Two, Julia. Or Julia, which I believe is another. I think she was just in, Julia. It's G. It's G I U L I A. Okay. Yeah, I had to type in wrestler at the end because... Stardom, I think, yeah. Yeah, so there we go. Okay. Stardom champion. All right, number one's got to be Rhea. And number one's Rhea Ripley. Nice. Yes, number one is Rhea Ripley. Um, wow. And so there were a huh. few other tweets um, of the full list and stuff like that. Like, Becky Lynch was like 29. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, Yo Sky was 24. I get... That's... That's fair so because it really it's like the end. Like she got her run within the last couple exactly, months. Exactly. So, yeah. So I don't know what yeah. like the criteria is. I think Ronda Rousey was like high twenties, like twenty one, twenty two, wow. or something like that. I mean, it is all. Here's the thing: is like what I kind of learned after we did the first one is it. It is all in kayfabe. Exactly. So it's like Oscar you know, was if she, 11, won, if she won a championship. Just missed out. Oh yeah, Oscar. Uh, Jade Cargo was fourteen. Roxanne Perez mm. fifteen. Um, Charlotte. Where's Sheeta? Sheeta, um, is she Sheeta on there? I think she, I guess she missed a lot of the year. Let's see. Um, now, this is just mentioning to you. I can, I can look it up and see what I can find. Um, Charlotte, Ronda, and Tiffany Stratton will all be between 20 and 30. I just want to find one where they actually give like the entire list here. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I got it. There we go. Tony Storm, 12. Mm hmm. Oh, That's Tony, good. I would have squeaked into top 10. Granted, yeah. again, she's having a fun run now. Next year. Kyrie, 16. Yeah. Charlotte, Statlander, 18. Ronda, 22. Trinity, 23. Oh, yeah. Where's um, where's Mercedes? She probably, I mean, she really didn't wrestle like a crazy 61. 61. Yeah, that She makes really sense. didn't wrestle. This was the first time in 10 years that none of the four horsewomen were top Wow. Like yeah. That. Yeah. That's crazy. Bailey's probably pretty low then, too. 41. 41 wild wild, wild. roxanne perez 15 yeah that's pretty cool, cool to see mickey 57 uh, Baker's 27 only 36 live 38 yeah live live makes sense live live, live had a hot start for the first half yeah, but she's been hurt mercedes martinez 61 so yeah start 25 cool so nice. lena at 102 i would have liked to see her a little higher than 102 she's had a oh yeah good run I've, if they just like used Again, her that's more the criteria of like they start they look at it from like from point a to point b the evaluation period is from uh july 1st 2022 to july uh, 1st okay. 2023 okay so that makes yeah zelina didn't really start lwo didn't really come around to like wrestlemania so i guess that that makes sense but yeah that's the uh that's the list rhea ripley number one i mean well deserved yeah, that's fair I mean, she is yeah uh, she's that's the fair. face of women's wrestling right now a yeah. thousand percent um yeah, right. don't really don't really have much to complain there. Let's go into some SmackDown here. We got Roman and LA Knight speaking yeah. of the devil here. Um, this was, I'm honestly like, I was impressed. I thought it was a pretty good back and forth promo. Yeah, John, John Cena starts out and kind of says like, <laughs> which this was, I didn't love this part. He was like, he was like, oh, I should be, f uh, you would think I'm challenging you, but he's like, but I'm not weddy, but I'm not good enough to face Roman Wayne's. You know who is? la night and then he brings out la night yeah. which i thought 
I think he could have he could have brought I, he, out he, LA Knight without saying like, right, like making him sound hey. like a little bitch. Yeah, it was. I don't know. He Maybe makes I'm, himself sound weak. No, I get what you're saying. It definitely could have <clears> been delivered a little bit better. Um, I appreciate he put him over, which I appreciate what he did. But it, I think he could have done it. It in could a have been like, way. hey, I'm not gonna be here much longer. I'm not gonna jump in line of everyone. But yeah, that's all I needed to say. Not, not that I'm Instead not good just enough. Like, for like, like I'm not. Uh, I'm not ready. Or I didn't. Or I think he said I don't deserve it or some shit. Yeah, Whatever. Something like that. Um, definitely could have worded it a little differently. But he got LA Knight out there anyways. So. Nice nice back and forth. We're looking at Roman and LA again. We're speculating Crown Jewel, which will probably be mm-hmm. the spot. Um, or Survivor Series, depending on depending on what they do with war games and who's in the match and da-da-da. Um, do you see um, it was a live show? And they had, oh, some, yeah. I forget what the match was, but like afterwards, he, LA Knight was on the mic. He goes, he goes, and you're going to call me champ? Hell, you might even call me chief or something like that. And I thought that he's, was pretty funny. He's going to get his Ass oh yeah he's, he's not gonna get I mean, shit it's gonna be rocked. everyone knows roman's gonna win but it is like i mean crown jewel they try to put on the biggest matches yeah. la knight the hottest star I mean, in wrestling right now props props to him he, he held within, his own within within less than a year he built himself up organically to a main event world title yeah, spot honestly. to get his ass kicked hey, <laughs> um, i mean it's it's a good it's a good uh, push to get him into the main event scene. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, he's going to lose. I mean, it's clear that LA Knight's not the one that's going to finish the story or anything like that. But I, I don't think it does. I don't think it's going to hurt him by losing. I think I don't um, think it does. <clears throat> I think I'm going to sound like a douchebag by saying this. I think I'm over LA Knight. It's just I don't like, think it's a you're a douchebag i think i think you're... well no the the douchebag part comes from is because he's because now everyone likes him mm-hmm. and i'm like i'm over it i don't know we were on it early it didn't happen when it should have and now i'm like oh, okay whatever it's kind of like when your favorite rapper that was underground becomes a little bit and that's and a little bit and what and it and is and it's just like oh everyone likes it's him a little bit what it is and i, I, I fuck with you know that's, um, that's i guy. like him yeah don't don't get me wrong i definitely i definitely like him and i respect him and like i just said he I, it's it's amazing what he's done in the course of under a year um but he's not as i was like man, i remember months ago i was like la Knight's gonna win this da, 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 da. right i'm not i'm not fired up by la Knight anymore these days yeah i, I mean, know he's cooled down for me and i think he can win it back i'm so you know i'm looking forward to the promos leading mm-hmm. up because he's you know obviously we saw him on the mic this past friday he's electric but um, I, I think it can win me back, but it's, it is like, it is very much what you just said of just like, ah, oh, he's mainstream now. He's yeah. not, he's not that cool to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I think like, I don't think he's really lost much of like the, um, popularity and stuff. Cause I do believe oh, like when he comes out, he with, still no, gets the with biggest. With me, he has. Anyway, he's the most popular. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm talking I, about just I still think me. he, like, he still gets big reaction stuff. Like, should percent. they have like struck when the when the you know when it was hot a few I months think, ago yeah, yeah but still like in that you can say this like they they've obviously have done this a few times but the thing the now is he's year. just gonna get his ass kicked and then it's like and granted like you know obviously like yes it is still a big stage and it's gonna be great form or whatever at the end of the day though if you're looking at what it actually is wrestling mm-hmm. he did build he did b- build himself up and he's gonna lose mm-hmm. and then he's gonna go down to a lesser title and feud yeah with, you know I, whatever I still because th- like he'll have the match with roman he'll lose but he'll still like be floating around that like, some people think he's winning <laughs> i mean i love la Knight, but that's just I, if there were i if i was a betting man which i am i wouldn't bet on la Knight. he's gonna be a huge underdog yeah he's, you're wasting your money at that point anyways he's still gonna be like teetering between main event and mid card like he's not gonna be full main event but he's not gonna be like a mid card talent because i do think he'll be in the war games match at survivor Series, yeah. so, which is gonna be like the main event like with other like Cody Rhodes, Jey Uso, whatever. So he'll still be like in there. Royal Rumble comes around. He'll definitely be a favorite. He'll, you know, he'll probably, honestly, he'll probably be like a Final Four type of guy. Oh, for sure. And then he'll get his his match at Mania. I mean, Maybe. it's unfortunate because it's like, not unfortunate, but like <clears throat> people wanted him to, you know, like win the world championship, win the money in the bank stuff so early on to the run. But it's like he needed time to still like, build up and stuff like that like you can't just reward him give him something like a few months into world championship yeah world like championship. like money in the bank he, that's what it's for i would i know? mean i would have loved yeah. it if he won the money in the bank but i do think WWE damian just priest like, is what's he doing with it you yeah know? but he's been around longer though you know what i mean i think not saying he doesn't deserve it but no, i'm saying but I, like I think you know. it's like um like ellie knight 
started getting popular around last year's Royal Rumble yeah. or something like that. Damian Priest has been like NXT, like so it's like a little different. Like he's not like he's he's been around. Um, I don't know what that has to do with uh, well anything. I, I'm just saying like you're giving it the money in the bank to someone that's been like just hot for a little bit, just for like a few months. Damian Priest has been in WWE for like 29, like three four years, so it's kind of more like yeah. But I don't think that has anything to do with thing. like. Yeah, but I'm not talking about like I don't think I think the reward stuff is all like bullshit. I don't all think right, that has anything that's to do fair. With, like uh yeah, I don't know. I mean obviously I mean, at this point we're going back and forth about a money in the bank match that happened that happened months, ago. months ago. I don't know what we're talking about. But but I don't know. I think I think more I guess to the point of just like I think they could have. I don't think there's an excuse for him not winning the money in the bank or or yeah. striking when that iron's hot. No, I get and it. I, again, I'm not to say Damien doesn't deserve it as mm. a human being and as a guy that works for WWE, mm-hmm. which is kind of what you're saying, 100. percent Right. He deserves the Universal Championship. Right. But like the product. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I get it. Well, when LA Knight beats Logan Paul for the U.S. Championship at WrestleMania, it'll be a huge moment. I think. I think so too. You know, and again, with all with 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 all of my naysaying, um, I do want LA Knight. He would look great. I mean, he he, he looks like he I should be holding that with belt. any championship. I think he'd look great. But even like think of like US like the US title. title just looks like like because he's like a he's like he looks like an American he, guy. He's just he's like an a, American. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, he, I think he he could be a guy that like actually like truly elevates the belt and it kind of like not in the same way, but like how Gunther with with the Intercontinental Championships kind of like add more value i would even it. say Put i would more even eyes i would it. even give it like a like a the miz with the ic sure. title kind yeah of like that yeah. you know no, i agree yeah um, not in the like he's not a wrestler like gunther is but more of like a a popular guy with the belt on him so eyes are going to be on the belt we'll see what happens we'll, we'll see, see what happens los angeles night pretty <laughs> deadly's back they are defeats brawling brutes love pretty deadly yeah they're awesome very like, entertaining just just a refreshing not just in the tag division but just on the show in general refreshing like comedic light-hearted but also super talented in the right. ring which mm-hmm. i think is a combination that doesn't always like you don't always see that sometimes right. a lot of it's like the funny thing but you don't get the in-ring talent or right. it's the you know sometimes it's one or the other um they have a good mix of like their character work and in ring what they say way. yes boy yes boy yes boy <laughs> i fucking love they're them. awesome um they had the super crop top on they did the thing i think print it's one of them named print i don't know their individual prince names and um let's look it up prince and l l uh et. <laughs> i have no idea oh, what's the other one Lewis Howley and Elton Prince uh, or Elton Sammy. Prince. Oh, wait, there's so many names. Wait a minute. Why is it Slash? Who's Sammy Smooth? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. on. <laughs> Maybe it's like they're. Hold the fuck on. Are there multiple? People? Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Elton, Elton Prince and Elton Kit Wilson. Prince. Uh, yeah, okay. Same person. I think Elton Prince was the guy that was injured. And at the end of the match, they uh, they kind of sold like another yeah, injury, I which yeah, I thought yeah. I was like, oh fuck! I imagine that uh, be terrible. They got me, and then um, ended up doing a cheeky roll up. But so I had to have them back. Yeah, um, I would love to. I mean, you know, the tag titles are so convoluted right now. I need them shits to be split, bro. I need. I need yeah, I need we a say it every week. But yeah, SmackDown it just would make things give these teams more of an opportunity pretty deadly would be sick with the championships I think they would too they'd be I awesome they would too bailey defeats bailey defeats zelina vega um much needed w for bailey she has you know she's 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 pretty down there on the pwi mm-hmm. 250 yeah. she needs, needs some, needs some to stack up, her up. up there next year um charlotte runs in to save zelina it's just kind of just it's, it's another Another keeping keeping Charlotte around, EO and Bailey. Right. Um, I would like to see Zelina in the conversation, but I don't think that's I don't think that's what what we're talking about here. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Charlotte's gonna win this belt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they're facing tomorrow night. Charlotte versus EO for the belt. Oh, is that true? Yeah, interesting. Which I don't no, know. Oh, it shouldn't. They shouldn't. I don't know, they sh- man. They shouldn't. I'm they nervous. Can. They shouldn't. I haven't been. They'd be this. stupid. <laughs> I haven't been this scared, nervous for a match result in a while. And it's on a SmackDown, too. I don't too. know why. I don't know why WWE is so addicted to Charlotte winning world championships. Like, give it a fucking break for a little bit, man. Like, we all know she's going to end up getting six. She's get, They're going to end up giving her 17 championships. They're just going to. They're going to have her break the, the record. Yeah. They're just going to have her. It's, it's, it's going to happen. But it's like... 
I don't know, man. Like, let let these other women have their time. I love like Eo Sky having been such a good run with it. I know, I know. Like, why are you gonna Excuse ruin me. it for for Charlotte? Like, I we, we all know how great Charlotte is. We don't need to put a championship on her to prove that. My maybe little prediction here. I think I think Eo retains tomorrow, but it's through some like Shenanigans. something shady happens. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a clean win over Charlotte. Um, and then I think it's going to be just like a, you know, Charlotte's pissed because she got cheated out of the win, rematch at Crown Jewel or Survivor Series, and then Charlotte's probably going to win. I would be, I would be devastated if EO loses It just tomorrow. doesn't make sense to me. I'm with you. It just hey. doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Bloodline, little backstage back. segment. Roman's back, or he's back in the, in his little office, whatever. <laughs> um, Roman asked Jimmy what he's been doing because Jimmy's been Jimmy's been running wild he's without been, any he's without any something. teacher in the oh, room, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Um, Roman tell, tells him to stop calling audibles. He says that uh, calls upon Jimmy to fix their Jay and Cody problem. Mm-hmm. Jimmy kind of Jimmy Jimmy goes yeet, <laughs> and then this is I maybe one of my favorite probably my favorite part of the show because it's just so just like like the storytelling in it is just so good of like the controlling and the mastermind uh-huh. where. That's their, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but the yeet thing mm. is the last thing tying Jay and Jimmy. Right. Their love for saying yeet. <laughs> and Cody. And Cody He now. does love it too. Um, And that was like their last connection and whatever. And also Jimmy's last bit of like freedom, it felt like. Mm-hmm. And Roman said, stop saying that. And just like a, just like a, Dropping a bomb. Dropping a Turning bomb. Turning Jimmy's world upside down. Jimmy I can't eats, say yeet anymore. I just, 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 this, I, I thought it was, and just like very controlling and just like so control, like so just nitpicky and controlling mm-hmm. about everything that he can't even say yeet, and <laughs> just, which is funny, but I think, I think it tells a lot of story. Right. Um, it is cool too, because he was like just kind of tying like the fact that cody and jay are champions like mm-hmm. is a disgrace like a slap in the face to our yeah, bloodline because jay like jay that. now has a title right and right um which we'll get into get into what what happens with that later triple h makes a couple of announcements here adam pierce first of all he gives adam pierce all his flowers which i think well deserved which he deserves um he's been he's been holding it down for both brands for a long time he has for a few while years yeah um adam pierce we moved to raw as the general manager, and we have Nick Aldis as the SmackDown general manager, who I wasn't aware, proudly, not proudly, but like, uh, yeah, I saw uh, your I Twitter. Saying? I saw your Twitter was everyone was getting up. at me. I don't know who I didn't Magnus. know who Nick Aldis was. Magnus, maybe yeah. you Ma- knew who he was Magnus before. And TNA, yeah, there's He's no been, way. Yeah, you knew he was, a, knew he was like the TNA was? world champion years ago. I don't believe you. He was. Um, in, he was in. Um, oh, what group was he in? Was he at main event? No, not main event mafia. Ace and eight. he was in some group. He's married to Mickey James. Well, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I he, know. Um, Everyone's so saying he, that. Who, remember when Cody won the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. NWA. They had the all-in to match and all okay, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, I don't want to re He's it. been, like, doing producer stuff for the last Well, yeah, months. yeah, yeah, for sure. He hasn't been, like, actually wrestling. He, he's only 36. He definitely could still wrestle. That's wild. I like him from, from you know, again, not knowing him. Um, In the little... In the little bit i got from mm-hmm. him like i like i like where he i like i like the the aura he gives off sure. as a as a gm i think he's gonna be a good gm um kevin owens has been traded to smackdown for yeah, cody Rhodes. i didn't i don't eh, really do? get this just because like i mean i guess you split kevin and sammy so like that's the that's the only reason i see is to split them without a turn right that's the only thing but i see like I feel like it was kind of like an anticlimactic. Like, people were like, oh, it's going to be Cody to get him close to Roman. Some people were saying it was going to be Randy Orton, you know, like, returning and stuff. You know who maybe it should have been? Should have been LA Knight. LA Knight? You Wait mean, a minute. He's he on SmackDown? On Smack? I think he is on Damn, SmackDown. I got yeah. confused. The draft is dead. The brand the draft is dead. Is dead. In my head, I so got confused. So that's the other thing, too. I tweeted this. I was like, oh, Kevin Owens got traded to SmackDown. But well, then Cody on, and Jay were on both shows anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, they're going like to be in war games. He's going to be in war games. He's going to be fucking wrestling on Raw in two weeks anyway. Yeah. So why does it matter? In my head, what is the LA Knight thing, I guess I got confused. But in my head, I want him on Raw. So I think he'd be good sure, in the World sure, Heavyweight Championship conversation. Instead of SmackDown. No, I get that. But anyway. But yeah, I don't know. Kind of anticlimactic. I don't. 
yeah it's i mean fine. i love like whatever i love kevin i think he's gonna do great and i just don't see him i mean you're putting him back on a brand with roman reigns who he's fought well, a yeah. million times and lost to him a million times so i it's, i could see them between now and wrestlemania just needing needing to do more of these like versus you know versus drew mcintyre versus uh la knight versus all these you know logan paul just these these matches to get you to actual matches right i could see kevin just getting another one i can see him being like a prominent part of smackdown if and when cody beats roman and that title's freed up on smackdown sure. then kevin can kind of you know enter the pic- re-enter the picture i could see him but in the united now, states championship not, picture maybe sure, i don't know maybe. if they're maybe really he's not going to beat logan paul i don't maybe. know maybe i don't I know don't, i don't know yeah I th- yeah all i kind of saw was just like it's just story to split up sammy and kevin i don't mm, know yeah um we're gonna breeze over this because it kind of something else happened later that we'll talk about cody and jay retain against theory and waller um but but cody and roman come face to face for the first time since roman reigns beat him at wrestlemania 39 was like, this is my or show. was it yeah, 39 I yeah, yeah, yeah. well like, i know it was 39 but i don't know if they've came come face to face since uh, then well they so. had the next night on raw they were supposed well, to have I'm, the tag team match with brock and then brock turned on yeah, 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 so yeah. I mean, technically yeah not, i guess maybe not their first like interactions we'll say we'll night. say it's their first face to face technicality anyway um intense love this I this love, was sick. jimmy uso's facial expressions i love yeah. when he's like grinning and stuff like <laughs> that because they were like he was like smiling like he looks like he's fucking tapped like he looks like he's crazy i love it yeah yeah he has he has an intensity he taps into which is really good um talked about charlotte and yo for tomorrow but i know speaking of face to face jade and charlotte jade's been popping up everywhere she popping up been. on raw popping on smackdown on nxt too. um that's true uh little little, little jade and charlotte tease that's a future um, that's Love a main this. event match one day. Um, I'm excited. I think I ought to just, and maybe I'm being impatient here, but like, I want to see Jade in this ring. They've been, I want to see Jade in this ring. They've been doing a great job of hyping they have, her up. They have, and for like sure. Getting people like familiar with I her. I love the the backstage teases. She's showing up on TV. Like, I love I love her showing face so much, but it's like, okay, let's let's book a match here. Right. You mm-hmm. know? Um, I, be, I hope, I can see them going one or two ways. I could see them her I could see her first match just being like a a squash match. Like just, you know, uh Jade's first match and it's against some local mm-hmm. and then just squash, bada bing, bada boom. I could really see them I mean, they do that a lot with new <laughs> with new stars. It's kinda like um like the first few that she has will be like Dolph Ziggler was always the perfect guy where it's like an XD call up can go up against a veteran and sure. guy that could like make you look good. Yeah. Jade will beat Natty. That's what you yeah. have. Natalia, <laughs> Natalia I mean, I don't think Natalia is as good as Dolph Ziggler, but I do think she's been like a veteran. She's like, you know, welcome to WWE type of thing. Like yeah. Jade beating her is, will mean something to, to someone out there. So I hope, I, I hope her first match is like a big, I hope it's not just like a squash. Yeah. Match. No, I hope it's I like a big deal, mm-hmm. but Anywho, L.A. Knight defeats Solo Sokoa. Big win. He's, yeah. He, um, Clean win over the Solo, only too. only two people, I think it was Cody, and um, he's only the third guy to pin Solo Clean on wow. the main roster. It was Cody and someone else, I forget. Someone like random? Or no, it was another no. big name. I Sammy? forget who it was. No, mm. I don't know. I don't know. But um, big one. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy tries to interfere, gets taken out by Cena. LA Knight pins solo clean after the match. Roman spears LA Knight to close out the show. Mm-hmm. Um dangling yeah. the bell over him. Needed the win. I think I think especially a fairly clean win over solo is yep. huge. Um, you know, he doesn't have the only person he has in his partner is Cena, but he's, right. you know, he's pretty wishy washy on Cena, you know, as we've seen, you know. I still would love to see those two have a match. Before I thought that's Cena what we've been leads. leading up. I thought honestly thought that was going to happen at like Crown, Crown Jewel, Jewel or something yeah. like that. I thought that's what we were leading up to, but that would um, be a sick match. Just kind of like a not a pass. I think of the they'll do it by any means. I think they'll like, end up doing it. A next generation, new, uh, old generation thing. We got Raw. Uh, I meant to say that, the season that, premiere. That was that was the SmackDown season premiere. Now we're on to the Raw season premiere. Yes. Sammy <clears throat> kicks off the show. Makes note of the elephant in the room. Says Kevin Owens got traded. He's unhappy about it. However, glass half full. He's excited to be solo again. Um, to really show his, you know, he, he hasn't been solo. He's been with the bloodline. He's been tagging with Kevin. He's been with Jay, whatever. He hasn't been solo in a while. He teased a world heavyweight championship. Little, little, little um, strive for, which I would fucking 
love yeah. Sammy versus Seth for the title. Would be Seth. Um, we'll talk about it later, but I think I don't think I. We'll talk about it later. Um, Drew, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> but um, just what this segment needed. I was I was just gonna say. Guess take a. I'll give you. A, I'll give you five guesses. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think came out? Damian Priest, yeah, yeah, Finn yeah. Valor, yeah. Dominic Rhea. Judgment Day comes out because of course I didn't even make note of when Triple H was doing his thing. He, they did the Judgment Day meme and ha 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 blah blah. blah. Um, Judgment Day comes out. And then Jay, uh, they surround the ring. Jay comes out with a chair for backup. Sammy doesn't seem to fully trust Jay, or it's more of just like a, he's still pissed about Kevin, whatever. Um, didn't really, wasn't really an embrace. We'll see that later in the show. Falls count anywhere match. Shinsuke Nakamura Sick. defeats Sick Ricochet. Highlight, probably match of the week here. This was so sick. I just did two things. First of all, one of the best TV matches of the year on Raw, for sure. Even, even maybe in WWE. Um, uh, I think one, it, I mean, like every ricochet match does this, but like it showed that he is one of the best. He's so he is talented unbelievably, and talented. he's so, I mean, it sucks to say, but he's, we say it all the time. He's so underused or mm -hmm. underutilized. Um, but then Shinsuke as well. I think there was a lot of discourse about like when he was facing Seth about like, Ah, Shinsuke is not a top guy anymore. Shinsuke can't go. Shinsuke is not believable. Da 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 da. Um, not only did Ricochet prove himself here, Shinsuke, I think, re solidified himself. A with a win, obviously, but B, proven he's like he can still fucking go. He's oh, a yeah. he's a top performer. He's one of the top performers in the company. If anyone still doesn't believe that, they're watching with their eyes closed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can even be like, ah, Shinsuke's not good Shinsuke's this, not this era of wwe that we're entering right now i think is perfect for shinsuke because like with the whole like sale and like you know mm. uh, endeavor and stuff like that because the reports are that triple h obviously we knew this like had a creative but like he is like the only person in charge of creative at mm -hmm. this point like the guy that uh owns endeavor runs endeavor whatever like the, the report is or the story is like everyone that's assigned their role like he wants that one specific person to mm -hmm. have like not multiple like people whatever so like vince isn't involved in creating yeah yeah so like that. and you can tell a difference because like triple h is more wrestling focused mm -hmm. and stuff you can tell in these matches and stuff that like they're really putting an emphasis on the product not mm -hmm. like the storylines obviously that's a big part of it but like the actual match itself yeah and shinsuke is like the perfect yeah. wrestler like he yeah. could put on great matches and this match i think is a uh, is kind of proving that uh report and stuff ricochet hits a crazy shooting star mm. press from the crowd. the crowd yeah um that's gonna be i mean that's a moment of the year highlight that was insane Six just spot. on a monday night raw crazy um i love this this was this was huge just just for so many reasons and then also i think um uh yes ricochet was unbelievably impressive i think the right person won i think Definitely. shinsuke needed to win especially coming off his like you know hot heel run lost to seth which i still disagree with but what are you gonna do um and but regardless he needed this win to be like okay i'm still like i'm still that guy mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't win the title but i'm still right this heel that's going on mm -hmm. whatever yeah, um, if he lost this match, then we'd be. Oh, we'd I would have been. Some I would have pissed. Yeah. Sammy and Jay are backstage. Sammy expresses frustration with Jay. Says like every time I lose or every time or I haven't won this, he's kind of blaming Jay for a lot of his losses. Um, just emphasizing frustration, saying like Kevin should have been the one to run down and save me. Blah blah blah. Ultimately, Jay kind of talks him out of it. They realize they're friends. They embrace. They're all good. Piper Niven defeats Natalia, um, which was just kind of a showcase for the women's roster and the, and the women's tag division, which I thought was solid. Tegan Knox runs in to save Natty from Piper and Green. Um, this was also um, after a little backstage segment that had like Nikki Cross in the background. I think Roxanne Perez was back there, or was she? No, who was back there? She was on the show at one point, but who else was in that? You know what I'm talking about? They had a little backstage segment where I, was, I don't think I saw this part. No, it was it was Tegan, Nikki. Oh, Tegan, Nikki, and the Casey's okay. were, yeah, were yeah, there. Okay, okay. Um, and then and then and then Piper and Green confronted them. But like, to kind of, I was kind of waiting to say this point, but kind of to what you were saying with you know Triple H taking control and da da da. Um, 
on both shows. The women are being showcased a lot yeah. more, which is which is fantastic. I, I forgot to say this last week, not this past Raw, but the Raw before. It was like like sixty. It was like a high teens number of like women were like involved in the show, or like the amount of segments they mm-hmm. were involved with, or something was like the most in a in a while. I believe it. So yeah, you can. That's another big difference you can tell is mm-hmm. that the fee, the women are getting a lot more a lot more time which is fantastic um so yeah this is kind of not much about the match in itself but like it's nice they're putting an emphasis on the on the um the tag titles love to see tegan Knox involved i haven't been super um super hip to her mm-hmm. i don't know much about her but her her and roxanne are two like top stars i don't know too much about for just from not seeing nxt that i'm excited to see more of on the main roster obviously roxanne's still on nxt get called eventually you know what i'm saying seth and drew quite a quite a promo battle a little promo a little, little back and forth seth claims drew is conniving with the judgment yes. day they show that little that which i think you made I, note of a few weeks ago where drew talking to Rhea. Yep. Um, the two are taking shots at each other, to kind of heating up this rivalry, um, and and spark fire with Drew's inevitable full heel turn. That theme song is coming back, man. Yeah, he mentioned he was he saying put out a tweet or Instagram post or something where he like put up the lyrics like "out of time." Well, he said it's not in the, in the promo. He said it's not coming back, which I may be a red herring, mm. but he said he said um, in the promo he said to Seth uh you know uh he said he said i have a i have a catchy theme song that i can bring back that everyone sings along to but i don't need to rely on that mm, or something he's a liar like that. It's maybe coming back um, don't lie well, there's no way he comes out to that theme song if he turns heel. I, he should though um, um, it would be awesome drew says that seth will have to think of a 53rd way to reinvent himself mm, after he beats him mm-hmm. um so this is looking at i mean is it gonna be at crown jewel is it gonna be at survivor series we don't know i think it is, i think they announced it for crown jewel did they i think they did yeah let's see what they announced for crown jewel i, I feel like we that this if, last I, that may be the only match honestly if if they did officially november announce 4th it. creeping up it is creeping up okay cool they did announce it we got seth oh that oh the which we'll talk about the five way yeah 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 um sweet 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 uh yeah, that's a good match for for Crown Jewel. Yeah. Okay. So this is where this is. Yeah. I'm glad you. I almost. I almost moved on too fast. I'm glad you said that. Uh, a lot of people think Drew are winning. What do you think? Do you think Drew's? I think. Mm. I think he would be a good one to take it off. Um, Seth. I agree. I just think if it wasn't Finn, if it wasn't Shinsuke, I don't think it's Drew. That's what I'm saying. If especially. Because Shinsuke seemed like, Shinsuke seemed like it, the way he was built up. And also, if Drew wins, Mm -hmm. it's a similar story to if Shinsuke won. They'd have the same, a similar, like, I don't know. It's just, I mean, they're both heels, obviously. He kind of just threw him into this. It's like building it up in less than a month. We're like, I, Shin, yeah, Shinsuke and Seth had a feud. They were right. going for a little bit. And like, I can see maybe like Seth beats him and they have a rematch at like Survivor Series and maybe Drew wins there. But I, I, I've said it, I say it every single week. I just, I think Seth is being fed these superstars. He's continuing this reign. So when Damian Priest eventually cashes in, it feels like a bigger like. Oh, I I don't I that no sucks. no I genuinely <laughs> think that like he's gonna cash in on Seth like after a title defense or something like I don't think Seth is gonna lose it and then Damian cashes in on the guy that beats him I think Seth's gonna hold on to it for however long it is and then that's who's gonna cash it on. That's I'd say I'd say if you if you're gonna go that route and you just want to keep building Seth and Seth up, I I, I say the same thing too every week. Have Damien try to cash in. Seth beats him. Fuck it. If that's what they're gonna do, I would want Seth to beat him because then it's like you couldn't even get me, and I'm gonna be this dominant yeah, guy. Yeah, but then like if, but then like that really. If Shinsuke, Damien. if Shinsuke and Drew weren't the guys, I don't think Damien's the guy. Well, that's the whole point of the Money in the Bank, though. It's kind of like a cheeky way to win it. It's not like a full blown match. Sure. It's like taking when the guy is down, you you take advantage. Of sure. It. That's kind of what the think, point of the briefcase is. You think Damien can care? Okay. Yeah, I think he can, absolutely. Okay. I, I think that's know. what they've been building him up as. The I don't last, see like, it. Year. I don't see it. I don't. Which I know I know I'm leaning back into my 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 Damien hater thing. But again, it's like and I get the money in the bank thing makes it different, but like I don't know. If Drew and if Drew and Shinsuke aren't getting it, because I would rather I could see it. 
Well, that'll I make- could see Drew. I could I could believe quicker Drew or Shinsuke winning it and then Damian cashing in. But Seth, especially if they're having Seth beat Drew and Shinsuke, yeah, exactly. You so know? it's like like they couldn't beat Seth, but it's like Damian was the one to beat Seth. Like that's a big moment for Damian. Oh, oof, sure. that's how you make a star. <laughs> that's how you make a star. So I think I think that's Woof. what will eventually happen. I I think I, it, I think damn, it'll work. I, I hope not. <laughs> um, Lu- Ludwig Kaiser is that how Samantha says it? Ludwig. Ludwig. Um, Ludwig Kaiser defeats Johnny Gargano. Here's another guy. Damn, yeah, I feel bad I don't for know Johnny. Why, man. I don't know why he um, lost this one. Especially yeah, a lot of a lot of Giovanni storytelling here. Giovanni helps Ludwig get the W. Um, I guess uh, Champ is injured. Um, it looks like we're leading to mm. DIY and Imperium. There's also a lot of Ludwig breaking off from um, Imperium, which I'm not. I don't think that's a good I, idea. Yeah, I still don't um, think that's a great idea either. I don't know why they're doing the cracks. and in, in, There's no, there's reason, no reason for to it. do cracks in Imperium. Mm. There's no reason. Nope. There's such like their whole thing is like we're 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 strong and we have on these like these like uh stone cold faces mm-hmm. and nothing can shake us i just can't that's see how it, it works i can't see giovanni or ludwig like solo i i can see it ludwig ludwig i think is one of the most talented on the roster when i tell you i don't give a shit about giovanni versus ludwig yeah. are you kidding we're me just, again if they did Ta- this as a tag team without gunther thousand percent still sick right. But like, if they like if this is something that's been like years in the making uh-huh. like sure but they've been together on the main roster for like over a year but like it's not enough time and giovanni specifically i think needs imperium like yeah. he can't no, be I think, solo i think both of them do like i'd more giovanni than yeah. ludwig but like i don't if they broke off i'm not interested in either one of them i'm i'm definitely more with ludwig mm-hmm. uh but it's like they're so good with imperium there's that's, no i don't know i just don't see the reason it's perfect to, for them you know it's so perfect um also johnny gargano man just not not no no crowd reaction Nothing. no say so yeah, i'll tell you one thing too no reaction from me yeah it's Ugh. tough it's tough you know? he's a great wrestler that's not my fault that's you know i'm talking about i'm talking about the book and that's not you know yeah they haven't done him any uh they haven't done him any justice i think he's another and granted you know he's proven himself in nxt a great single star but i think with reviving diy i think is the good idea and i it think is. that'll help mm-hmm. you know I think it's supposed to like uh rejuvenate his career a little bit his character and stuff but then he's losing so <laughs> yeah, i don't yeah, understand yeah yeah i don't know i mean the, the loss i'm not too upset about because i don't think that would i don't think a win would have done much for him anyway because the crowd doesn't care about him either way mm-hmm. you know so i don't know we'll see hopefully champa comes back soon yeah he's injured i didn't know he was hurt i didn't know that either until i was just writing this up um indy hartwell approached becky lynch backstage for a title shot again another instance of just you know more women on the show. Good mm. job, Triple H. Um, Becky comes face to face with Rhea Ripley. Yes. Backstage. Little T is there. Little mm-hmm. T is there. Mm-hmm. And I got this vibe from Rhea. Maybe I'm reading into it. Almost scoffing at the fact that, oh, you, oh, oh, you got the NXT title? Oh, that's cute. I got the that's world. That's cute. I got, I got the world, the world title. title. Oh, the NXT. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, the minor league title? Mm-hmm. Cute. That's that's how I took it. Yeah. No, yeah, I can def- I didn't see the the backstage, but that's how I can imagine it as well. Leading into Rhea Ripley defeats Shayna Baszler uh via disqualification cuz this led into a bunch of interference, blah blah blah. Um another another instance to showcase the women, which leads to which I'm hyped about fatal five-way yeah. crown jewel yeah. for the What's Rhea's called? The world of the world. I think it's the world, right? The world one. The world, yeah, yeah, yeah. The world women's title. world champ, or women's whatever the fuck it's called. Rhea Ripley versus Shayna Baszler versus Nia Jax versus Zoe Stark versus Raquel Rodriguez. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty big Love match. This. I haven't seen a match like that in a while. When, when this was announced, that was also my first thought of like, damn, we don't get like, we don't get like big, like, you know, throat fuck it throw a fatal four-way into yeah, the title okay. like, yeah we don't, don't you know be afraid I mean? to do it i don't know they're fun those matches um, are fun this and we were kind of talking about earlier with ria's run and uh 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 she needs this win she needs this I'd win be a, i'd be shocked if she lost yeah i would be shocked even though like obviously the odds are stacked against her she doesn't need to be pinned to lose the title she needs to win this match because she hasn't um she's I, i've loved her title reign more so for the story and the she's way she carries like leader herself, of the leader of the stuff. Judgment Day. Yeah. 
But like, if you're just looking at matches, they could have been, been better. Yeah. Um, sure. I want to just bring up her. Let's see, Rhea Ripley title matches. I just kind of want to see her. Um, unless you can rattle some off the top of your head, but I mean, she had those few squashes with Natalia. I know. She, I know she defended against against um, Raquel. Okay. But, 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 but. Yep. Oh, uh, super. This website is showing live shows too. Jesus Christ. All right. But, 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 but. Yeah, a bunch of squash matches against Natalia. Natalia. Oh my God, Zelina Vega. She beat it back. Zelina. That was I liked that match. That, that was, was a good, a good match. match. But like other than that, and then like the the Raquel match was not awesome at payback. Um, so this is like this is gonna be. This is going to be a like the staple. probably the bigger the bigger biggest win of her title run. I think so too. This will be this will be the staple. And in she's her, beating in her four career. other superstars exactly. that she hasn't. Well, Raquel she has beaten, but three other superstars that she hasn't beaten yet or defended yeah. the title against. So if if anyone else is going to win it, uh, never mind. No. I can't even see anyone else winning no. it. You know I what would be I sick? could see them giving it to Naya. Yeah, uh, yeah. I honestly think I think that's the only person. Yeah, that would, that could win this match. You know what would be sick? Is if they had Rhea just run over everyone this match and just dominant, just dominance. Yeah, I, it'd be tough to do it with Nia and Raquel because like they're I guess harder. Yeah, to, I guess. But but yeah, I I, I just hope, like a decisive win. You know what I mean? Right. And just kind of yeah. make I her like it's, an unbeatable champion. I hope I hope there is like a sense of dominance for mm-hmm. sure. I agree with that. Gunther. Speaking of dominance, Gunther retains against Bronson Reed. Just big meaty men banger meat. of a match yep. um bronson reed kept kicking out wouldn't stay down kept kicking out couple of near falls he really really threw this match uh he, he, he made himself feel like a threat big made time. himself feel like a threat he's a big boy um gunther hits the splash he kicks out and hits one more power, power bomb. bomb on what i saw was about a 330 pound man is what i believe bronson reed weighs i i when i was watching i was like damn he's actually like obviously you have a little support so it takes two to tango but the fact <laughs> that he was able to fucking lift yeah. him up like that he again bronson reed is a big boy yeah big fucking this boy. was i mean this was standout match on the main roster for bronson reed for sure oh, this yeah. was this was this was sick um um um, um what else I had something else to say about it uh oh i normally like like i love gunther's this is probably his best like big boy match because mm-hmm. i love his like matches with the smaller guys and those are so right. good um but this was this 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 was great this was like a this was a pay-per-view level for sure. level match definitely was Judgment hey, Day. It's a season premiere type of match. Season premiere, and you can't have a season premiere without Judgment Day. <laughs> in the main event. In the main event, defeating Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso for the championships. Let me give a little rundown. We can give our two cents. Jimmy Uso, and I get it, as instructed by Roman Reigns, shows up on Monday Night Raw, takes care of the Cody and Jay problem. He lays out Jay with a super kick on the apron cost the two the belts um the uh i just mm, there's a couple things Mm -hmm. i think a first major seed in the jimmy and jay wrestlemania story Mm -hmm. great love it ultimately i think i think my thing with this is i love every i love this i I love how it was played out i love the storytelling i love jimmy costing it i love jimmy taking orders and fulfilling the orders from roman i don't love how quick they did this all so you know this is my one gripe about it i think they could have done this in a few more weeks i would have loved jay and cody to have the belts for one month yeah one month make it to survivor series next night it was such a as much as when it first happened we were like we were like oh Oh, i don't know about this they proved us wrong they were fun you know and for the 10 days they had the titles they were fun i just wish it lasted a lot like again they i it, act, it upsets me that they did it so well because I'm like, okay, it's justified. Like, I'm upset they lost. Well, that's the thing. But, like, right. it makes sense. Like, it makes sense. Jimmy costing them, like, the, the smirk on his face after he did it. I fucking love it. It's so good. Fall through like, on Roman's orders. I, it, it makes and this sense. Is, uh, at the end of the day, it all ties back. You're mixing in Judgment Day and the Bloodline now. Right. It all comes back to the Bloodline, right. which I like because now, like, we had time off the Bloodline. Now mm-hmm. it's back in full swing, it looks like. 
perfect makes sense judgment they have are have all the championships again which is great yeah i just wish it's all right but like (laughs) it's 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 the concept of like they all have you know what i mean um but man i wish like have them bring the belts into survivor series and the raw after have judgment day beat you know what i mean like i I that would have been fine i'm with you oh i man because now i don't know if they're gonna I mean, I can't imagine they're still going to be... They're not going to be in the tag team division anymore. Maybe they'll have a rematch or whatever, but like that's it for them. Because now Jay's going to start focusing on Jimmy. You know, now all that stuff's going to start playing out. And I think... I think, a, I think a couple of things, which I think is kind of what you're saying too. I think a couple of things could have happened instead. And who am I? Um. So Jimmy did what Roman asked. He followed through on that. I think... I think uh, A either either because that's the argument is like oh well jimmy just said what roman needed like it being too early starts at smackdown with Mm -hmm. roman like giving this order like it's not it's not just at raw it starts with the order um i think they could have held off on roman making this call and maybe let let jay and cody annoy him more Mm -hmm. and like you said a couple weeks go by or whatever and then it's like jimmy take care of them right and then it's more of a because it's see this is roman's first smackdown back Mm -hmm. and they've only had the titles for 10 days how annoying are you really um so i think they could have just waited even for roman to make that initial call um or b have jimmy run in try to take care of it and he fails to take care of it right and then that Mm -hmm. builds more more tension because roman and jimmy already have like weird tension whatever so jimmy failing would have been some nice tension and we could have gotten that manipulative whatever roman abusive roman of being like you fucked up and da-da-da. so you could have had that right and then and then lead back into maybe jimmy makes up Making for a few weeks it, and right, then yeah i think right, there's a right. lot of other things i could have done and also on the judgment day side again i do like the idea of them holding the belts mm-hmm. they did it already yeah it we it feels and i get why they did it they totally just hit reset. Dom got Dom has the title back. They got the tag titles back. Fully hit reset on the Judgment Day. It feels like we're just spinning our tires with Judgment Day. Um, yeah. And I think people are catching up to me, which I've been I I was sick of them too early. Mm-hmm. But it seems like the discourse online is people are starting to get sick of like Judgment Day in every segment. Well, judgment they, Day, they judgment, judgment Day. They uh, are. They are in every. They segment. are. Welcome in every hey, main event. Welcome to the club. I'm keeping the water warm for <laughs> you, huh? <laughs> Finally, huh? Yeah. Welcome. I mean, it, it then it just kind of goes back to like, like should they've even lost the titles in the first place? If they were just going to win them back right away? Yeah, you know, right. It's yeah. just like a lot of things like that. Again, they executed it well. It makes that's the sense. Thing. That's exactly. And that's what pisses me off. That they did it very exactly. well. Exactly. Just it's, maybe just just. And a I, little and bit. Just push it off a little bit. My guess is when's the next time we're going to see Roman? Who knows? Probably at Crown Jewel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe what the SmackDown next, before. I don't know what his next days are. But he's not yeah. announced for SmackDown tomorrow. I think it's going to be... What's... Because Crown Jewel is November 4th. So, so not... So it might be the SmackDown before Crown Jewel. That's what, or yeah, that, like that's that. what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so w- w- maybe a guess is like, well... We don't have Roman for this. This is the only time we have Roman for this. I guess we have to do this now because we don't have right. him to. Right. I don't know. I get it. Again, it, then it also it also plays into war games because hopefully, you know, Jimmy J and Cody are all going to be in the war games right. match. And mm-hmm. um, but yeah, it's yeah. I think we're very we're very on the same page on that i just like i'm just like it's so it was so good but just yeah. but just but just i think you could have done just push it off wait another, push, month. Wait another just yeah one more month but what, what can you do we'll see what happens i mean you know we say all this stuff and then and then something happens on raw or smackdown we're like oh okay, okay. you know yeah, so yeah, what are you yeah, gonna yeah. do you know um all right well that's wwe unless there was other news we got some dynamite talk about last let's night about but i don't dynamite. think there are any let's double check to see if just before we move away from wwe i don't think anything happen so usually there's like um usually when i'm like writing this up is always like uh, oh there's like five pieces of news that happened right um what's the one is there elimination chamber that's on super early is that the one that's on that's in february i know it's in february but i think so yeah yeah because it's australia yeah 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 no i think uh um yeah they're just talking about pwi and Sorry, I was on WrestleOps. Anyway, all right, good. cool. 
AEW. Did not watch it last night. Okay. I will admit. Hey, I don't, hey. I I, people are going to be mad at me for, for being on a wrestling podcast and not, <laughs> not watching a show. I missed, uh, for a little bit, I was running, um, oh, two Warzone dubs last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't played Warzone. Trio. Trio's resurgence. A couple of dub skis. Nice. Ooh. I haven't played Warzone um, in a minute. So we got on a roll last night. And I, I, I game like like a few times a play? year what do you play on your pc yeah okay i, I play a controller in yeah, so yeah, i'm yeah. not good with the mouse mm-hmm, and keyboard mm-hmm. um but anyway so that 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 a couple a couple dubs bled into dynamite oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so, got, got the juices flowing got um, the blood boiling but jay white defeats penta we knew who was gonna win bullet club gold is doing their story with mjf that penta's not gonna win this against jay white but God damn it, Penta's so good. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. There was this one move. Oh, let me see if I can find this one. There's this one fucking move he did. Um, sorry for everyone listening, but you know. Oh, here, look at this, look at this, look at this. Picks him up and then just fucking spins him. I don't even know what it's like this weird fucking spin, like like Oh, interesting. Like almost a like burning bodies. hammer sort of thing. Yeah, what the whatever fuck? fuck? Fucking crazy. Two of the best. That was Obviously. Sick. And what's crazy is like, you know, it's just a TV opening match. They held back and it was still like, damn, these two are good. Yeah. Um, but Jay White wins. Bullet Club Gold gets involved. Blah, blah, blah. You get it. I'm actually going to pull up. I didn't take as in-depth notes, so I'm just going to actually pull up um, this just in case. And this is leading into, later on, we have the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal. So Bullet Club Gold kind of leads into that. Hikaru Shida defeats emmy sakura um and kind of a teacher versus student thing mm-hmm. she she being the um student emmy sakura being the teacher title eliminator match she gets the win first I, I think it was a great first win for the new three-time champ three-time Sheeta. Yep. um this was fun this was solid i like the i like when little little matches have a little bit of you know they, they put in a little bit of story here. You know, mm-hmm. tying teacher versus student is all it needed. Nice little touch. Nice n- nice step up for Ishida. Um, excited for her run. We're also going to fly through Dynamite. It's kind of like um, quick notes. Wardlow destroys Ryan Nemeth. Tough. Um, but then he shows the wrist tape, says MJF on his wrist. Mm. And I'm starting to think, at first when I saw it, because he had it, I forget what it was, it was last week or two weeks ago or whatever, he had MJF on his wrist. At first, I was like, "Oh, he's siding with MJF." Now I'm starting to think maybe it's like, uh, it's like a, um, like I wrote your name in blood. Like here's who I'm coming after. Like right, you know what I mean? Right. I don't know. I don't know how to read Interesting. it. I don't know how they're tying Wardlow back into MJF. I honestly hope they don't go back to like him being a henchman for him. Yeah, and I think See what they're, happens. they're far removed from that. Yeah, now you'd hope. Kenny Omega defeats Kyle Fletcher of Aussie Open. Another just a, some sometimes dynamite is just fun matches. Mm-hmm. This was great. Um, it was another remind. I mean, Kyle Fletcher, kids almost kids only twenty four. Um, great run. He's had a great year. Kenny, another reminder of just like, and we talk about this all the time. How like for so long we weren't exposed to Kenny mm-hmm. just because it was all New Japan right, or whatever. Right. Just another reminder of just like. It's cool to casually see Kenny Omega on TV, you know? I want to find out how old is Kenny. Play our, our favorite game on this show. I'm going to say 39. 38, yeah. 39. I'm going to say, ooh, 39 is a good guess. Is he is he over 40? I don't know. I'm going to say 41. Okay. Kenny Omega, age. 40, 40 right, right in, in the, the middle. middle. Split the difference. And he just turned 40. Damn. Oh, wow. He just turned 40. Three, oh, three days ago. Three That's days funny. Ago. Okay. Happy, happy belated, Kenny. Um... But yeah, fun match. But I think about boom. Um, Lance Archer squashes someone. Cool. Mm. Here we go. Let's get into some things. Yeah, I was I was seeing that like, people were like Sting's making an announcement, this and that. I I had no idea what what it was going to entail. Sting comes out making an announcement. I mean, like especially I think when because of how kind of serious it was, and it was just like Sting's making an announcement. I think everyone was speculating like, oh no, well, he's retiring. Everyone was like, tune in Wednesday for Sting's announcement. It was like he was front and center of the promotional poster yeah. and stuff. Um, takes a little walk down memory lane. He mentions the likes of Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> when he mentioned Hulk Hogan, people started booing. Goes, all yeah. right, all right, I get it. Um, says his retirement in 2015 didn't sit right with him. Mm-hmm. Fair, yeah. I understand it. Sure. 
says his first match back in AEW was at Revolution 2021, and his last match, his retirement match, will be at Revolution 2024. And what is that? Good question. I didn't look it up, but is that one of their? I'm assuming that's one of their. It is one of their pay per views. Yeah. A E W. Any potential opponents? Maybe click on one of them. Maybe it'll date. say it. Yeah. Yeah, they I'll just look it up. Uh, Take place early. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe they haven't announced it yet. October. Uh, bu- 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 I don't think they've announced it. I don't think there's a date. But probably. I wonder when they have been in the past. I imagine it's oh, yeah, their earlier. Up. Yeah, I'd imagine. Revolution 2023. That took place in March. Okay. Revolution 2022 took place. Okay, so okay, March, so it'll probably. be in March. Okay. So five. November, December, January, February, March. So five more months. Five more months of staying. Which I like. I like that this is how he's going out. He's like, he's like marking the date. He's like, this is the last match. Mm-hmm. This is the last one. But you got five months with me. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see a couple matches here and there. A few, um, a few dream matches, maybe. You yeah. know what? It's got to be. It's got to be Sting Darby. Right. It's, yeah. You, you have to I guess imagine. it has They've been to together be. for three years. Yeah. It's kind of like a. Not. A, I guess passing the torch. I guess. Yeah you know different but similar characters i can't imagine anyone else like unless they do like a dream like you know edge sting like unless they do something crazy like that but i still think i think they they could and would do that i don't think it has to be his last match like how important is that that's true you know what's the history sting versus darby i think that's just too perfect it writes itself yeah yeah you can't you can't write the match they have it for them like right there it's but i hope it's not like a. I hope no one like i hope it's not a feud i hope it's like uh respect mm-hmm. thing like i don't want it to be like, like i don't want darby s- turns on him yeah i don't want that no, i no, want no. it to be just I'm a respect you. thing and you a know casket match or something right. i don't know whatever um maybe maybe darby finishes the match with a scorpion death drop mm-hmm. and then that's it mm-hmm. or something i don't know we'll um but yeah i mean i thought i was nervous it was like uh like i'm done like, like, here and now i'm done or something um like that. but i really and it's gonna make that all the more special i'm just like you know now we get to we get to we get to live out the rest of this time with them as hey, a you we've know, been wrestler. Uh, we've been blessed with Sting for the last three years. God, he's been great so moments. good. For his AW. fucking sixty something year old bro, damn, he's been fantastic. Drew Robinson wins the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal by eliminating Max Caster. This one was pretty obvious. I love love me a battle royal, uh, but it's like Juice had promos with MJF. Mm-hmm. I like you know Max Caster would have been fun. They did the little tease and all that, but like obviously it was gonna be Juice Robinson. Jay White takes out MJF um, while the match is still going on. Um, MJF, like, you know, they're going back and forth. MJF gets his title. Jay White low blows him. Still steals the title back. Jay White still has the triple B. (laughs) Um, Juice Robinson tosses out Max Caster. And it's going to be, which it's like, this is interesting. It's MJF versus Juice Robinson for MJF's Dynamite Diamond Ring. Right. Which, like, cool, but it's not like a title. It's just, you know, and we talked about this last week. Where, like, the Dynamite Diamond Ring has just transitioned fully into just, like, an MJF weapon. Right. It's just an MJF character trait. They kind of put themselves into the corner with yeah, that. Yeah, which I think it works, but it's almost as if they want to treat it as, like, a, which it was at first, like, a trophy, you know? Mm. Um, for, like, for, for, maybe for, like, a tournament or whatever. Uh, it's just not that anymore, I, don't, I mean, if he, I don't know, if he loses it, I just don't, I'm not sold on, like, if he loses it, then <gasps> he lost a ring. Big, yeah, it's yeah, like kind of big know. whoop. I get, like, it's just like, I get the story. He uses it to win a lot of matches and maybe in the match with, um, you know, let's say Juice Robinson wins it in the match with Jay White. MJF doesn't have the ring to help him win. I get it if that's the story, but I don't think that, I don't know. It doesn't do it. Doesn't do yeah, it for no, him. I agree. You know, I don't yeah. know. Um, it's just kind of turned into his weapon. So it's like, if he loses it, he doesn't have the weapon anymore. Someone else can use the ring as a weapon. That's kind of how I yeah. just look at it at this point. Yeah. I wonder, they, they announced it, didn't they? When is this match taking place? It's a uh, full, uh, full gear, gear right? Yeah, When's yeah, full yeah. gear? November. It's like the week oh, before yeah. um, Survivor Series, I oh, think. Oh, is it? November 18th. When's Survivor Series? Survivor Series, November 15th, 25th. Jeez, November has so many pay-per-views, dude. I was looking at this up the other day. Full gear. Yeah. 
Um, Survivor Series. Wrestling Fury schedule. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, WWE, you have Crown Jewel November 4th, Survivor Series November 25th, NXT, which is just their TV shows, but still, Halloween Havoc is yep. going to be the 24th and the 31st, um, Full Gear the 18th, and then over on uh, well, New, J- uh, New Japan October 14th, Impact October 21st. That's heard the Bound for days. Glory. Let's look at the Bound for Glory. Bound for Glory is like their WrestleMania, I think. I heard the card is sick. Uh, 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 uh. I haven't fucking followed um rhino and moose are gonna be in a match so many of these people that are wrestling still are like have been around like alex shelley yeah i remember i remember seeing moose's name forever Moose has been around rhino um josh alexander sick will osprey obviously kenta Mm -hmm. trinity versus mickey james that's fun the rascals um uh click on the rascals so they were I think that was MSK. the group I believe that Wes Lee was in before he came over to WWE. And then, I don't know, say like past members. Hold on. I, I think that's the group. WWE, yeah. Oh, yeah. Debuted as Wes Lee. Yeah, Carter. so Noah Carter, he, uh, one of the guys in there, he was also in WWE, and then some stuff came out about him, whatever. Mm. So he got cut, released. They were the tag team champions. So when he got released, that's when Wesley started going on his solo run with the North American Championship oh. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I see a picture of him. There they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there was some stuff. People, you guys can research it if you want. Um, but so I guess he's back because they were. So there was three of them, and only two of them went to WWE. Oh. Okay. So now one of them, I guess, they're back together the other two while wesley is still in wwe interesting um well yeah yeah sounds like a sounds like a good show with that speaking of good show that was our show yes it was 48 um we forgot to plug merch at the beginning but we still have yeah we still got that sweep city thing is right here we still got some sweep city merch link in bio if you want to get your hands on a piece of merch um with that said, again, happy 100,000. Keep subscribing if you're not. I know this is the podcast, pretty much. I mean, if you're listening to the podcast, you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know that's, what you're doing. That's, that's wild. That's crazy. Um, do we have anything to plug? Do we have anything to plug? Just, we have to you know, think of something to say for the comments, but I don't think of anything else we have to plug. I don't know. Um, for the for the comment, we can do... Something with 100,000 or something like that, maybe. Hmm. No, because I like it to be like when people like you got to get here. Yeah, you know, you can get which I want to say this. Some people are out there cheating. Some people are skipping to the end Mm. because the video will be out for like six. It's an hour and a half long podcast. The video will be out for six minutes and someone's already in there Mm. commenting, you know, so interesting. We see that. Yeah, there's some people out there cheating for the final message. Or maybe maybe they're listening to the podcast and then they're coming over and saying that. But how I don't know how much Ooh. earlier. I don't it does know how come out. It does come out a few does hours earlier. Few hours? That might be it. All right. No, well, if you, you don't do, cheat. If you do that, then I'm then I take it back. But <laughs> disclose <laughs> it. Disclose it in the comments. What the fuck are we doing? You can't. That's be funny. I, I forget. This I, is. That, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know how often. Or like if you timed it up the same or whatever. But all no. right. With that, actually, well, with that, hey, if you're listening, you can listen to this podcast. Well, no, keep listening on YouTube. We get. We don't get any money from Spotify. If you are <laughs> listening to it on pod, on the podcast platform, though, uh, follow us five stars. Leave a rating, please. That helps, helps us, us in the. We, we never plug that. Leave a rating. It helps us in the charts. Blah, blah, blah. Get us the number one, maybe. Um, our, our final word will be Dunkin' Donuts Tattoo. Perfect. Dunkin' Donuts it's, tattoo. It's specific and niche enough. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Dun- so, send, us a, send us your Dunkin' Donuts tattoo. Send us your Dunkin' Donuts tattoo to Dante at... <laughs> <laughs> Please. Um, all right. That's a show. We'll see you next week. We'll see you all week. Fun group of videos coming out this week. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Catch all of those. Follow us and everything. You know the deal. Um, until then, we'll see you. Goodbye. Toodles. See you next time.